Hey friends, Lucian here with the Bullish Bears team making this video on Trade Ideas uh, pre-market scanner. Uh, so I'm going to show you a little bit about their pre-market scanner, how I use it, and basically how you can use it and kind of customize uh, what you're looking for uh, in the pre-market. Uh, I mean, pre-market scanners are absolutely crucial uh, to start off the day. It's, you know, that's where you want to find the momentum, the news, see what's actually happening in these stocks so that you can determine whether you're going to day trade it, swing trade it, go long, all depending on what your uh, strategy is for trading. Uh, I personally am more of an intraday trader or a day trader. So I scan the pre-market every morning. I look at what news is going on. I look where the volume is. And uh, really, Trade Ideas is, is the best. I think they're the best scanner that's out there. Uh, we actually also do offer a community discount. Um, so if you're a part of our community, or even if you aren't yet, you can come and join us here. We have a great community on Facebook called the Bullish Bears where you can come and join us. Uh, we have obviously lots of members here. Um, <clears throat> so come and join us, you know, subscribe to our YouTube channel as well. And, um, you know, again, the, there will be a link below in this email with our affiliate link and the promo code. Make sure you enter bullish bears 15 in all capitals, uh, to get a 15% community discount. We have a partnership with trade ideas. So if you'd like to try them out, Again, make sure you uh, apply the promo code. Uh, this is hands down the best scanner uh, that's out there. We could absolutely not live without this thing. It's unbelievable. I'm not going to go through a whole tutorial or anything like that. Obviously, you can see there's a whole bunch of stuff you can look for here. Um, I'm going to specifically look at pre-market. <clears throat> I have a kind of a stored one that's stored here. Uh, so I'm going to load that one. And um, I'll show you how I have it set up. Let me uh, move it up here. I have multiple screens, so um, let me show you guys this here. Okay, so this is the gappers for today. I'm making this video. It's July 31st, uh, 2017. You'll see the gappers at 8.53 in the morning. Um, so you'll see stocks that are in the green are up, <clears throat> excuse me, and in the red are down. Um, and then you'll see all these different columns, which are all customizable to the way that you'd like to look at them. I personally, being an intraday trader, I don't trade stocks more than $15. I try to look for a low float. Um, however, I am more of a reversal trader. So um, I tend to go on, I'm more short biased. So I'm not as concern per se for the flow as somebody that might be more long biased. Uh, so if you're long biased, you'd want to pay even more attention to the flow. If you're looking to get in, <clears throat> you know, excuse me, shortly after the bell, uh, you want stocks that are really moving. Obviously, you want to pay attention to ones that have a flow ideally under 20 million, you know, maybe up to 50 million if there's a news catalyst. Um, but if you really want those runners, you're more long bias, you want to get in, you want to make your profit and get out, uh, float is extremely important to look at. And Trade Ideas has an incredible float uh, tab here where you can kind of just sort by float. You can look at the float here and kind of just look at it all the way down. Uh, they're just... They just put it out really simple. So you have the price, you have the symbol, the price, the float. Then you can see percentage of short, short float. Uh, I sort by gap percentage just kind of because it makes it kind of easier to kind of look at. So you can see which ones are really up in the morning, and then you can see volume over here. So you, again, you can have the columns however you want set up here. Uh, what you would do is basically just right click on it, click configure, uh, then you would click advanced. And as you'll see uh, up here, if you click on Windows Specific Filters, this is where you can change everything. I have it really kind of simplified for, you know, we send out the pre-market watch list every day for our community. So we kind of treat keep it kind of more, I don't want to say generic, but kind of simplified. Uh, any stocks that are up or down, uh, minimum or maximum of 4%, or actually you know, up 4% and then at least a minimum of down 4%, um, you know, depending whether someone's short or long biased. And then we have stocks minimum of a dollar on up. And then this is where you could uh, basically um, 
you know, change things to kind of really customize it. So if you're looking at myself, you know, I might do stocks between one and fifteen dollars with a, maybe a maximum float of a hundred million. And then what I could do is just hit OK, hit OK again. You'll see it really kind of narrows it down. So I don't really do, uh, you know, I don't narrow it that much. Uh, well, for some reason, that one seems like it cut out a lot. It should be, um, well, actually, yeah, because it probably only went up to $15. Let's see. Let me go back here, click configure. <clears throat> oh, it's taking a while to load here. Advanced. So, yeah, it really can narrow it down for you. So that's why I don't necessarily like to just kind of just take it out. Um, let me just take out the $15, see if it gives me a lot more. Uh, not that much. Something's going on here. I don't know if I did something wrong there. Let me hit a configure. Uh, wait for it to load. Advanced. 100. Oh, 100, 0, 0, 0. <laughs> oh, so maybe I put oh, 10 million. See that? So let's try this. 100 million. Hit OK. Hit OK again. There you go. So you can see that I float, uh, did things by the float. But it's very easy to do. So you can see I was just off by one digit. I went in and fixed it and kind of just basically, um, you know, this is the end, how it looks. And then you c I could just go back in here, right click, configure again, uh, hit advanced. And then um, go back over to window specific filters. I can just remove it if I would like. And... Um, Hold on here, let me just get rid of this notification. As you can see, we have lots of stuff always going on in our Facebook group. I hit OK, hit OK again, and there you go. So this is what we post to the watch list, or the watch list that we post every day and every morning uh, for our community. <clears throat> so you can kind of just tailor it uh, the way you'd like. However, you would need trade ideas to really tailor it. We kind of keep it kind of generic. Uh, again, this is just pre-market movement. Uh, the stocks that are running pre-market. Uh, trade Ideas, again, has everything here. You can see if you're an options trader, they have a whole section just on options and what's moving, unusual volume. You can set up all of your um, you know, columns however you would like here with Trade Ideas. Uh, there's a whole section on marijuana stocks, biotech stocks, um, sectors, what sectors are moving. Um, you can trade with Holly, which is their artificial intelligence, which is really cool. Um, you know, again, you can search pre-market, their alpha predator, whatever stocks are surging up. So there's so many different columns that you can do. I just showed you the pre-market, but if you really want the best scanner, they're incredible. Uh, we absolutely love trade ideas. So it's more than just pre-market movement. They've got absolutely everything that you can get all under one roof here which is pretty cool. So again, just want to show you a kind of a simple tutorial, uh, show you how the pre-market works. Again, we have much more videos coming with Trade Ideas, so make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel. Let me go over here. <clears throat> um, go over here to our YouTube channel. Make sure you subscribe. Uh, check out our playlist over here with all our different videos. We're going to be making a bunch more on Trade Ideas, again, because it's our uh, definitely our favorite scanner. And make sure you click the link below in this video if you want to try out trade ideas. And don't forget to input the, our promo code, the Bullish Bears 15, so you get the 15% discount. Um, and uh, every little contribution helps our community. Again, if you're not familiar with us, uh, we have a huge group on Facebook. You can find us over at BullishBears.com or click the link below in the video. You can come join us if you haven't already. Uh, make sure you subscribe to our watch list. We do send out a nightly watch list, and then you can coincide it with trade ideas in the morning. Uh, we also have a bunch of different courses. Uh, we have a trade room over here you can join. Um, and again, we are a contribution-based community. We don't charge our members for um, you know, what we offer currently. We ideally would like to stay that way, depending on how uh, contributions happen over time with our community. So if you'd like to uh, contribute to us, we'd uh, greatly appreciate it. So hopefully this video helped you. And uh, again, trade ideas are the best. So uh, make sure you click the link below and uh, enter your promo code. So we uh, thank you for being community members, and we'll see you in our community. Enjoy.